and there is the support pocket firmware. Now, I believe this firmware will work for both the, the pocket handheld and the docking station. So let's see what happens. We're going to go ahead and click on download. Okay. All right. So download and then I guess. <laughs> I guess allow download. I only want to download one time, not multi time, but. Okay. Continue. All right, so I'm going to put it on my SD card, but before I do that, I'm going to go ahead and create a folder. So later on in the future, I will know that um, what is what. Okay, now I'm, the reason I'm doing the unbox so late is because I was waiting for my converter. So this is a firmware 1.1, which was November already, uh, 16, about 20, 2023. They told me the, the cartridge should be here this year. It will ship out this year, but it's already November. So I don't know if they're waiting for the last minute thing. I don't know, okay? All right, so that one is downloading there. Since I have clicked on it so many times, I'm just gonna directly drop it here at the, the SD card. And then we already format to E, EX fat, E fat, uh, too many version, cancel, cancel. All right, and then we're gonna pop it into the machine and let it do the firmware update. All right, so let's go over there and do that. All right, update just completed, roughly about maybe minute and a half, two minutes, I think I believe. So welcome to the pocket, okay. All right, so we're gonna skip the tutorial, and this one should be version uh, one point one. The one originally came with one point zero. Okay, so it is a new one point one firmware firmware update one point one. All right, so we're gonna put it into the docking station. I believe it's right here. Now that. C drive and this is another link cable which I didn't buy and that's a head, head jack and it's the light and I guess that's the reset button here is just a lot of hole for air SD card is in there uh, that's pretty much it top had nothing and that's the bottom so the docking station just have the USB-C so we are just going to plug it directly in like so all right, and you say the docking station firmware uh, is out of date. It requires an update, which is included as the as of the current pocket firmware. No download is needed. Okay, well, I already download it already, so let's press continue. Oop, there's no touch screen. All right, so the old one is one point zero B. Oh, that's the one that I download. So, it apparently taking this one. Huh. Okay. I can't change it. I can't move up and down with it. It recognized there was two. But he's saying the one I download is the old one. He's going to use this one. Okay. Click OK. So, it's updating the docking station. So, you don't have to download the second one, which I did. Okay, so now the TV is coming up. So let's look at the TV. Screen is coming out, up now, out. <laughs> Originally I plugged it in and nothing was showing, but now it's showing uh, the pocket update. Okay, so that's good. Now let me show you what did I did in the back. So let me pick this up. The back of the docking station look like this. It, it hold it together, not, not that great, but so you gotta hold it. First, my hand is holding the bottom so it won't come off. All right, back here, you have two controller cable port. So you can plug in a joystick on port number one and number two. 
and this is a HDMI cable and this is USB-C which is is the one that I plug into the wall that come with a power block so you don't have to buy another power block for it all right so that's pretty much it so he's doing the firmware update so once we finish updating the firmware we're going to take the SD card out and we are going to go to the computer and we're going to we're going to download two we're going to we, we could download just one uh, one of them is is made for all operating system for Macs for Linux for Windows the other one is more uh, uh, GUI I call it GUI G U I as a computer programmer person uh, GUI is J uh, G U I so it's a GUI software which give you more of a friendly screen option so I am not going to use that one because I want everything I want the arcade I want a Game Boy I want everything downloaded. And then after we finish downloading, then we're going to transfer file over to it. And uh, so we're going to do all that. So we're going to let that update. And when it finish, we're going to power it off, take the SD card with us. And that's pretty much it. All right. Okay, look like there is two framework. This one, it was created in February. So I went and click on analog pocket docking station. All right, so let's click on that. So this was created in uh, February 22nd. So this is the latest one. So we're gonna go ahead, it's a 1.0B. So let's download that. Okay, so it's labeled docking station. We're gonna put it on the same uh, USB flash drive. And minimize it. And we're going to go ahead and do that as well. Okay, I popped the SD card in here. It turned out we do not need uh, the the one point B for the docking station. Uh, the new version will uh, will automatically include uh, the docking station update. So we don't need those two anymore. So we're going to delete those. Okay, but I do want to keep this. So I want to copy this. And I want to put it into a bigger SD card. So we're going to drop it into my uh, my hard drive first. And then we are going to copy it. So I'm going to create this one called new folder. And this is my uh, 16 uh, gigabyte uh, backup. Okay. And I'm going to go control V and paste those. And it's done. So now I'm going to uh, reject my SD card out, take my SD card out, and uh, copy that to the new uh, 256 gig. And I don't think I need more than 256 gig because we're not putting PlayStation One, nothing of that source, or or even uh, Dreamcast or Sega CD. So okay. So now we just put the new SD card in. Go back to. I'm gonna go back to my flash drive, and a lot pocket, and I'm gonna copy my backup SD card. Okay. And the reason we are doing that is because uh, we are going to run the program. I'm gonna put it in the E drive. So you automatically create a, a photo structure, but it's missing a lot of stuff. So we're gonna we're gonna download two program. Okay, we're gonna not well. We're gonna only download this one, the the upgrade utility program, and and then the window. So we don't need the window. This is more like if you know exactly what you want. Uh, you want to use this one, but this one it will download everything, and I want to download everything. So uh, let me go ahead and do that. So we're gonna go ahead and copy this one instead, and I'll have this on the link below. And you just go to here, press Control V. All right, and then this is the new one we have, the new version, and we're gonna look for the correct operating system which is window and we're going to download that into 
our new uh, 256 gig, which is right here, the eDrive. We're going to download it directly to the root of the SD card. And once the download is done, we're going to unzip it and we're going to run the update. Okay. All right. It's almost done. Okay, the download is completed. We are going to open up the folder and we're going to take that and we're going to extract it here. It's very fast. Okay, and now we don't need this file no more. We could delete this file. The machine is slow today. Okay, we're going to delete the zip file and we're going to run the update pocket what it does is check to see what you have and if it does realize you don't have anything it's going to ask you say would you like to install the default new courts uh, would you like to yes of course so press shift y i'm going to press enter all So instead of choosing one by one, I decided to do everything. Now, it's probably going to go search for, it's probably going to download the new firmware update, which we already deleted. See, it already downloaded this already. See that? It download on my right hand side, my mouse is moving. It said pocket firmware 1.1. 1 .1. We already deleted. Okay, I don't see my, all right, that's finished. So we're going to close that one.